at Dragon Boat Festival. The Yang family went to the Dragon Boat competition. They went into an air-conditioned restaurant at noon. By which to get a high score at the entrance examination, Xiao Bao ate a lot of steamed rice dumplings. But shortly, Xiao Bao finishes his Zong Zi. He starts to feel dizzy, thirsty, hot, and weak. He also starts sweating profusely, and has a stomachache and diarrhea. Xiao Bao keeps exclaiming, "He is thirsty, and he feels hot too. I'll buy some icy food for him to cool down. He'll be fine after eating it." He has stomach pain and diarrhea after eating the zongzi, so it must be food poisoning. We must take him to the hospital. I think he has the heat stroke. He'll be fine after drinking herbal tea. Doctor Li run into the restaurant, finding the seat to sit. Doctor Li, you came just in time. Xiao Bao has stomach ache after eating some zongzi, and he feels hot as well. Could you examine him to see? Sure. Let me take a look at him. What happens to him? Is he having the heat stroke? Yes, he has a heat stroke. He was fine while we were watching the dragon boat race, but why does he have these problems? After we came to the has Xiao Bao been studying all night for the exam? Yes. How did you know? When a person stays up all night, his qi will decline, and he will become less adaptable to the changing environment. Today is also the Dragon Boat Festival, when it's extremely hot. With his weak immune system and today's hot weather, he can't adjust himself to the cooler temperature in the restaurant and the zonzi that can't be digested easily. So he has the heat stroke. It isn't food poisoning. The traditional Chinese medicine feels the heat of the summer can easily weaken one's qi and the yin from one's body. That was why Xiao Bao felt dizzy, weak, pain in the stomach, and had diarrhea. All these are symptoms of weak qi. He also felt hot and thirsty, which are symptoms of weak yin. In another word, he had heat stroke. By the way, I discovered that there tends to be an increase of patients with heat stroke in the hospital after the Dragon Boat Festival. Is that also the same reason? Besides, to commemorate Qi Yuan, the festival also expresses our ancestors' realization about the changes between Yin and Yang. The festival is called Duan Wu. In Chinese, Duan means beginning, Wu means Yang, which is the opposite of Yin. When these two words are put together, they refer to the increases in the sunlight and the temperature too. During this hot weather, the heat will weaken our Yang and also Yin, and the symptoms people feel are the heat stroke. The weather starts to become hot after the festival. And people can get heat stroke easily. So the fifth lunar month is also called Evil Month or Month of Numerous Poison. At ancient times, people would hang maksa, changpu, and other scented plants on the door to expel evils. It also reminded people that the summer was coming, and mosquitoes and many illnesses would become widespread. So we must watch our health and sanitation, so we won't get sick, right? You're right. Xiongwang wine and moksa aren't used to get the white snake to show herself, but to expel insects and keep us away from the injuries caused by heat.
You also mentioned injuring Ying and injuring Yang earlier. What are they? <laughs> Let me start with the theory of Ying and Yang. Both are one of the foundations of traditional Chinese medicine. We feel Yin and Yang guide all physical reactions and bring balance to the nature. If there is an imbalance, such as too much Yin will weaken the Yang, and vice versa. I still don't get it. Can you explain it? Let me explain both terms with their original forms. The left side of the word Yang was written like this. It represents mountains or ladders. On the right hand side was It represents the sun on a plate. When both were put together, the new form means something positive, strong, or warm. The word yin means dark, area south of a river, or area north of a mountain. As China is located at a higher altitude, so ancient Chinese people felt the sun rose from the east, passed by the south, and then sit down in the west. Therefore, they felt the southern part of a mountain received more sunshine than the northern part. Therefore, the southern part of a mountain is called Yang and the northern part Ying. China's landscape is higher in the northwest and lower in the southeast. So the river all flows towards the southeast. In a case like this, the southern bank of a river tends to be more eroded than the northern bank. And the southern bank tends to be wetter than the northern bank. Accordingly, the area north of a river is called Yang and the area south of a river, Yin. In nature, we have the four seasons and they also represent the changes between Yin and Yang. Yang is a phenomenon of facing the sun, warm, active, or moving, while Yin is against the sun, cold, silent, and still. To our body, Yang is the life force, while Yin is the liquid or the nutrition of life. So there's Yin inside Yang and Yang inside Yin. If they move in balance, we will be healthy.